Let's just hop into the first thing. Fucking Donkey Teeth has been uh, indu- inducted into the Opry or nominated, allowed in. Well, well that's Adi- the uh, additionals. Well, that's the that's my first question <laughs> because I don't understand how the Opry works. I have never been there, nor have I really paid attention at all. I have um, been there, but I don't know much about it. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how that shit works because I know that shitty people have like played there before, but apparently that's not. Yeah, being you're not inducted. a member of the Opry. Yeah. Yeah, something something along those lines. Yeah, but so uh, uh, General Dingus Teeth uh, is the latest uh, inductee to the Opry in another uh, state sad country. yeah another sad update to the current state of country music and things that are supposed to be recognizing country music. And Dustin Lynch pisses me off because I didn't really like his shit to begin with anyway. Like it was certainly country sounding, like yeah. that, the Cowboys and Angels song. I mean, I liked that song, but I yeah. I don't know what like I don't know what it was, but for me, it just really sounded like like without being cliched about like trucks and nonsense. It just seemed like a cliched way to be like uh, the dude is going to be a cowboy because that's the most stereotypical thing we can think about. For yeah. a dude, and then we're gonna say cowboys and angels because you know we're gonna say that they're an angel and whatever. And like, I mean, it, it's it's kind of fine. I don't know the last time I fucking listened to that song, so I can't yeah. really say the lyrics too much. But I really thought that song was kind of meh. And then I didn't really give a shit about him anyway. And then he did the Chris Young where he took off his hat and he's just like, "Aha! I'm not actually country at all, <laughs> you fucks. Look at me." Uh... Well, I guess speaking of Chris Young, he was the previous one. And I think – I know we talked about on that thing. I think we said it's kind of – a he was kind of a good induction because even though his music is mediocre now, he's kind of – he hasn't gone like 100% pop. He's still – he's released shit songs that Yeah, are except terrible. for that fucking Justin Bieber knockoff song. Yeah. Like he's he's released bad songs recently, but I think we said he was like an okay – yeah, and, and, like induction, and, and he's got enough good music in the past that I'm like, yeah. you know, he, he's in that caliber of like I still can think of a lot of really good Chris Young songs. Oh yeah, like we uh, easily made a top ten with his music because he has a lot of good music. It, it, exactly, he's got a lot of good music, and he doesn't have that much absolutely atrocious music. Yeah. He's got a bunch of bland music, but yeah. that's not his last two egregious. albums have just been bland. Like, I yeah. mean, his newest one was pretty bad. But the one before that, I think Sober Saturday Night, or that's the album it was on. I don't know what the album was called. But that one was just, it wasn't bad. It just was so forgettable. And, uh, yeah. but back to Dustin Donkey Teeth Lynch. Um, he, uh, I liked, well, the, the reason I liked Cowboys and Angels, if you take away the lyrics, I don't care what your opinion on that is, he showed how good of a voice he has. And yeah. it was to a country song, and actually the acoustic version of that song I love. Like I, I listen to that one more than the full instrumental one because I just think I think just the sound of the music, how the chorus is saying and everything. I just really like that. The lyrics there, whatever. I don't care what opinion on it is, but he just showed how, how he could have been this amazing country artist, and instead yeah. he decided and, to yeah, do and, small town girl or whatever that fucking song was called. And it's yeah, dog so shit. I I would have yeah like back back then when that was like his like that was the album that was the most recent of his. If someone would have said that I'm a Dustin Lynch fan, I would have been like, oh yeah, whatever, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. not my thing, but fucking go, you know, live your life, do whatever. Go to Pound Town. Exactly. Now, <laughs> when someone says that they are a Dustin Lynch fan, I'm just don't like, do. I don't like you and everything you stand for. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so, and it's such bullshit because Trace had, I guarantee they were just like, hey, Trace, go nominate him in for us. Like, you're going to be there that night. You're already a member. Go And then sing Honky Tonk Badonka Donk, your best song. And then lit. (laughs) Um, Yeah, fucking Trace Adkins. You you motherfucker. Um, Even though his, I don't know if it was his most recent single that fucking uh, watered down or whatever. Exactly, he's he is an enigma because he will always do shit like that, where he will he will punch you in the face with absolute garbage, trash, nonsense, and then follow (laughs) it up with, "Wow, that was a really good song." Why? Why are you the way that you are, Trace Atkins? (laughs) (laughs) Why are you the way that you are? Um, But yeah, so. I I just I don't know why like and it's also Justin Lynch's career is so young why are they inducted it honestly like, seems think... like 
this is the move that the label would be all about because they see his pro, you know projection continuing on this fucking Thomas Rhett type fucking path, you know? And so yeah. I don't it, yeah. it, so like the the pick itself because of the fact that he doesn't have that much music. I don't know how much music does he have. I have no idea. Um but the yeah, maybe like the the albums, pick doesn't maybe. him like he bugs me for the reasons that I've already said. But the pick is almost more so because, uh, like, more, it's more annoying, more so because of what it kind of means that, yet again, they're bringing in someone who has basically abandoned the country sound at some point in their career. And it just goes to show yeah. that they really aren't giving a shit about the music when the Opry was, I, like, again, yeah. I don't really know that much about the Opry, but I was assuming, I was always under the assumption that their whole deal was about celebrating the music so why, mm-hmm. like, especially like, who was the fuck that brought on Chewbacca Mom onto the stage? Like shit, like that is like, why is this happening? Was it at the Michael? Why Ray? is this happening? No, at it the was opera? um, it was the fucking the dude who looks like he has a smushed face. Oh, uh, uh, Dylan Scott. Name? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, he yes. blows. <laughs> I like how you got that from smushed face. He does exactly <laughs> look like that though. <laughs> He he looks like he's like uh like semi retarded, got his head caught in a vice clamp when he was younger. And then it was just like, Oh, well at least he can sing good. Sing good and hit the weight room, bro, you'll be alright. So if it pleases the court, I'm just gonna refer to Dylan Scott as semi retarded vice grip for now on. Make a shirt that just says semi retarded voice <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, that's funny. <laughs> anyway, fuck Dustin Lynch. <laughs> well, yeah, because they were talking, I think it was like saving country music, whatever, which I think we mentioned before. I'm kind of yeah. tired of that site because he's kind of become a white yeah. knight, but. He he had a thing about how the Opry's become this kind of like circus show because of that, like Chewbacca Mom hitting the stage. They have Yodel Boy hit the stage. Like they're doing all these stupid shows that they think are gonna bring in like listeners. Whereas if they just had good music, well, if they just had good music on the radio in general, people would tune into the Opry because if you people with Spotify and stuff, they're not reaching. They're not reaching out to listen to the opera on yeah. Friday night or whatever. Like that's not what people are doing. So they're trying to do this shit of like, Oh, we need to have people listening to the opera. It's like, honestly, no one's really listening anymore. Like I don't listen that much. Like if, if I hear someone's like, like when Aaron Watson premiered on, or like his, when he debuted on the opera stage, I tuned in to listen. Cause I wanted to hear Aaron Watson on the stage. And like, I think, I don't know if she has yet, but Aaron Enderlin is going to be on oh, the nice. stage soon. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then the other thing that was a tro- like a just a sin was that same night they induct Dustin Lynch is when Dylan Carmichael premieres <laughs> on the or like debuts on the Opry stage, and it's just like that guy already deserves it more yeah. than Dustin Lynch. Like, and I think it was like someone was saying it might have been the article that Trigger put out of the fucking induction like jim lauderdale has gone on like hundreds of times he's played the step opry and he's not in yeah it. like why yeah what the fuck it is just that? yeah it goes all the way back to i don't understand what their whole goal is but it seems like they are going down a stupid path yeah and if people can play the stage why not induct the people who religiously play the stage like even carly pierce plays it like 60 times a year like even though I don't care for her music anymore, which is a huge bummer because she's awesome, um, and she's dating douche tard fucking uh, camo or not camo, tribal arms, fucking tribal arm. Yeah, uh, she hits the she plays all the time. Like I remember back when she was just known as the uh, wasn't that drunk chick who sang with Josh Abbott band. She was playing like fifty nights a week or a year. 50 nights a a year is impressive on the Opry stage. Yeah. And it's just like, she's put in her time. She deserves it more than Dustin Lynch, even though she's a pop country star now, which really sucks, but it's just dog shit. Like if it's just going to show that like being inducted doesn't really matter anymore. Cause they're going to have these actual good artists play once a month or five times a month. And they're going to just induct these turds who play 
once every other year, even though they're supposed to play, what, 15 times a year or something like that, or 10 Could times a year? Could not even begin to s- tell something. you. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, it's dog shit.